saved the day, saved the whole trip. Glenn Salzman only had limited time to ski Utah's fresh powder with his son. We flew out, so we only had two days here. So if we'd missed this day, like if we didn't get up, we were just out of our one of two days skiing. He says they took the Cottonwood Connect to get to Snowbird Saturday, and after seeing the infamous long lines of cars, he's glad they did. And the road was completely backed up, and they weren't letting anybody through. And we got on the 7 o'clock, and they knew how to get around, and there was a police escort for a couple of buses, so we got to get on the road even before it opened up. Some skiers and boarders even thinking about paying for the $10 round trip service in the future after experiencing the standstill traffic. I would pay $50 for a Cottonwood Connect if it gets me here in 10 minutes rather than an hour and a half. Salt Lake County leaders launched the private service, hoping it would help remedy the recent reduction of ski bus services by UTA and a swarm of visitors to the area. We know that there have been quite a few congestion issues, so it's just our way at offering one more uh, service to help alleviate that. The shuttle runs Thursdays through Sundays and holidays until April, taking riders up to the mountains and back to various locations like Little Cottonwood Park and Ride. The shuttle just takes you right to the steps of, uh, of like the Central Lodge over there, and you just get off and you start skiing, right? No more time wasted parking. It's pretty cool. As for what the atmosphere is like on the inside of the ride, <laughs> rider Rarush Gosman says it definitely woke them up for a day of skiing. The music they were bumping, some uh, some Roxanne by the police, really good. We were doing karaoke in the in the show. Have a great day. It was nice meeting all of you. Gusman and his friends safely off the mountain and ready to hop on the shuttle again tomorrow. It's just really nice to have somebody else drive you up uh, and not have to you know be behind the wheel. In Salt Lake City, Lucy Nelson, Fox 13 News, Utah.